That is the sound of my front door. Which means this is a geek review episode. And if you're watching on YouTube, you'll see this actual footage for the first time. I'm gonna try and film and do a podcast at the same time. Anyway, it is at half six in the morning. I'm walking to the bus station to get a bus to Stansted, to Finland, to Delfast. See you there. You're listening to the Beat Motel podcast, and we need to warn you that we like to use words like fuck, shit, and no syndicalist, bunty scruttocks, angry flap, and foot biscuits. And we don't often bleep those words out, apart from because we're not complete animals. But if you understand that and you like music, then listen on. Anyone who's been watching the uh, podcast or listening to the podcast for a while will know I'm not a young man. I have flown many, many times and I've never been through a British airport without being stopped. It's always my bag they want to look at and I always think, what is it about me that looks so suspicious? So we're going to the festival tomorrow. Sam, what are we watching now? Tomorrow we're going on Saturday. Oh, Saturday then. Today's Thursday. Oh, I've got we're, jet lag. We're watching 100 bassists because why, who wouldn't want 100 bassists in their lives? Yeah, asking the important questions. <laughs> Can we see, we have seen the bassists, they are up there. Behind scaffolding. Behind scaffolding. <laughs> they put them in a protective cage. But we are in the main, what is this, the main square in Helsinki? That's the, the white, what do you call it? Is that the Catholic Church? No, that's Protestant Church. Ah. Oh, so many people. Look, people L- like bass guitars. Lutheran, bass- Lutheran Church. People like bass guitars. Look how many people have turned out on the video, on the podcast. You won't see it. You'll have to go watch the video. It's, it's bigger than Donald Trump's crowds. Bigger than his assassinations, you said. <laughs> bigger than his, assass- bigger than his cra- assassination for his crowds. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a lot of bass guitars just yet. Superfluous to uh, performance of basses. Let's wander on, shall we? Yeah. If anything, I think we're expecting more bass. Yeah, I was expecting like a feature and experimentation with bass, basses, bass guitars, and, and it just seems to be we've got up here. Just seems to be way up here. One of the things I'm still slightly coming to terms with about Finland is just bought two pints, 24 euros. Is it tasty for 24 euros? It's maybe not 24 euros tasty. Interesting colour though. So we're now on the site where the festival is and this is where Tuska was. She went to a couple of years ago. Tusco, it's very full, very busy. <laughs> this is uh, what's well, hardly anyone here so far. Got half an hour before oh. the band. Okay, yeah, Sam's point out it's half an hour before anything actually starts. So, is this the building it's in here? That one. Oh, that one, that was where the um, yeah, yeah. True Cult stage was at Tusca. So, quite a small place. I mean, if you're listening to the podcast rather than watching the video, it's uh, tiny so far. Certainly it looks tiny. The Death Rest Festival and Tuska is held on like an old industrial place and we've just been in a, a really cool exhibition where strangely you can also buy spray cans for graffiti. It's very well organised. I like the pictures though. 
So there's also a brewery here and a bike shop. Well, the bike shop's shut at the moment, possibly because of the festival. No music yet. I was just trying to find the light switch and I pressed the button and it says, well, it says K-U-I-T-T-A-U-S. Uh, light switch is just below it. So I don't know what's about to happen, but I'll let you know if it's anything interesting. I just pressed a button in the toilet and thinking it was the light switch and it wasn't. It's a button I looked up, it means acknowledgement. What does that button in the toilet do? Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement, that's what I said, I looked out. Well, no one came running to my aid or anything, so it couldn't have been anything serious. Which one did you go into? Disabled toilet. Oh, that'll probably be the, yeah, the emergency button. Oh. What are we drinking, Sam? Uh, you're having a non-alcoholic IPA and I'm drinking a thing called Incredible IPA. Alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Alcoholic. Right, so it's quarter to three at a festival. Are we going to go crazy? No. No? I think we're too old. <laughs> Sam, I can either hear a passing train, distant thunder, or a uh, death metal drummer warming up. Oh, it's death metal drummer warming up. Death metal drummer? Yeah. Although it's hot, so a little bit of rain wouldn't be that bad. We are bamboozled by how to get into the place. We've seen a band playing outside, and I've only just thought to check Sam's actually got the tickets. Which I'm kind of hoping he has. three three pounds for the cloakroom sorry three euros which I'm not going to complain about that much they've got to make money but I literally have earplugs sunglasses and this phone and that's it no nope. must pay for cloakrooms anyway I've lost Mr Sam so I'm gonna go and look for him we have gone for Caribbean Pilates beer tasty you can see the long drink in the fridge as well there don't get that into the oven with the what do you think what about what <laughs> did you think Andrew are you covering all the lenses? I don't know. <laughs> what, what was that band called? Uh, AIDS? Hades? Hades, AIDS. Uh, very good. Sound like they're all very competent, but perhaps haven't quite found their own sound yet. What are you doing? Like Dr. Sam, what did you think of that? Uh, very enjoyable, but yeah. The, they don't have... Uh, an X Factor yet. And it was weird to see those guitars, they had like an Ibanez and a Yamaha, I think. Um, um, Charvel on the right, I think. Yeah, weird to see them playing that sort of music. I was amazed to see someone pulling a tremolo that hard without the whole fucking guitar going out of tune. I, that was very good sound. That was probably the best bit. I liked it, they had some and, brilliant riffs. But also, like, one of, the, one of the guitarists was wearing sunglasses the entire time. I'm all for that. And I like the fact they did some slow bits. It was a change of pace. Yeah. Right. We're, we're outdoors now. But we've been. You've seen the uh, indoor indoor stage. This is now. It's kind of in an alleyway in front of. Uh, I think that's an old gas cylinder thing. But yes, looking good. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
I think they're extinguished. Extinguished? Yeah. What did you think of extinguished? Uh, I really liked their slower riffs and I thought when they sped up everything got lost. What did you think? Um, they get lost a bit. I mean the sound is okay, pretty good, but their slower riffs were brilliant. Yeah. Really, really cut through. I like that they're, a lot. It was very reminiscent of us, um, like one of the early Finnish death metal bands, Demolich. Um, it's same sort of thing, very angular riffs, a bit like like early post-punk on death metal. Do you know where they're from? Here. Oh, right. Which I also enjoyed about that. What? The chair. <laughs> Who do we just see, Sam? Oh, uh, Azatov. Azatov. Now it just sounds like tong 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 tong. Yeah, the snare is uh, not the nicest. I don't think it's the band. It's just that that kind of death metal. But, uh, mm, I don't get it. I think you must have to watch for something. But what to talk about? They were making some sort of horror video, a pop video. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So there's a woman in zombie makeup, which I'll, I'll put a clip in before this. And they were. <laughs> The director's going around grabbing people who looked metal and putting them like behind her. And then I really like the fact in the background, there's me looking like the way I do, like nodding like that, grinning. And Sam, you just looking at your phone. <laughs> so they like, he just went and got more metalers to fill, he built, he built a wall of metalers between, between us and whatever was going on. It's nice to know that we don't look that metal. <laughs> I just want to say, I do love a, uh, a death metal sound check. It's brilliant. Because they always play funky little things, but I want to talk about something else. I've just realised what it is I think I didn't get about the last band. No dynamic. It's just... Yeah. On record, it's probably brilliant, but the thing I liked about the previous band, who were called... Uh, extinguished. Extinguished. They had dynamics. It changed. It dropped down and yeah. did interesting things. And I'm sure that... I don't know who any of the bands are called. No, I don't. I... No. I'm enjoying the sound check. Yeah. This is. Oh, Jazzy. Yeah. If you're watching the video, this is the, the venue where most of the bands are playing. That's the outside venue. That's an old gasometer. And that's a Dr. Sam. Hello, Sam. Should we see what's in his ear? So. This kind of death metal, we're trying to figure out it out because there's nothing that we can latch onto, really, is there? No, it, it, but there's occasionally cheesy rhythms, which is quite funny. But um, like Disney rhythms. Yeah. But yeah, we don't know what the what the goal is if you're in a band like this. You're gonna. What should we do for this one? Well, let's do a death metal. What does death metal sound like? It sounds exactly like this. To be fair, they look very young on stage. Do you think? They think they do. Look at the... Go well, they had their tops off and they were skinny, so... Yeah, and also the drummer has like a 
pudding ball haircut. <laughs> what, a monkey's head? Yeah. And the, but the, the sound of the snare wound me up quite a lot. Um, I think this is one of the things of... It's quite hard... I find it quite hard to go to, to festivals, which are... They, they can be really quite one note. Oh, right. That's like if you come to a mono-themed festival, like we used to go to Brack Rock, yeah. which, is, which is skate punk, and... We this went what three equi- times. Yeah, yeah. We never made it to the end of the festival, did no. we? This is a, this is exactly the same sort of thing, but with death metal. But at least, hopefully, there's going to be a bit of variation, at least in terms of tempo. There has been already with Ever Evermore. What are they called? Uh, Green Day. Green Day. Green Day was surprisingly sludgy. I thought. <laughs> I would normally give minus points for a fretless, but he did make good use of it. He, yeah, he sort of used it as like a spooky effect. Aspect <laughs> spooky fretless. Yeah, spooky fretless. But there was cool because the guitar dropped right down a few bits. So I thought it was a mistake at first until the bass did some really interesting stuff. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if it was or wasn't, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it may not have been deliberate. Yeah, because the bassist pedals seem to be jump, jump the volume all over the shop as well. Uh, bassists and pedals are not generally a good mix. Good content is basically people having a conversation. Uh, it would turn what out. did you just say about this metal all day and punk fest though? It, it feels more like an all day than a, a festival per se because you associate festivals with like food and other things and other entertainment whereas it is purely music here which is pretty cool but there's definitely like um, more of a punk thing going on than, uh, there's, than other festivals we've been to in Finland. I think it's just really small. I mean, I've only seen maybe a couple of hundred people here, but I like it. Yeah. Say something really clever. No. What do you see in there, Sam? Uh, we can see the faint, the faintness of uh, canyon bikes. Oh, bicycles! Fancy, Arse fancy savers. Carbon. Fancy, fancy. Anyway, we're off for some food. Uh, that is Dead Chasm. They have a great sound, but they have a sound. They don't seem to do anything else apart from that one. Do you think we're actually coming across as quite harsh on some of this? I think it's hard to maintain an interest in something over a whole day where it doesn't have a lot of variation you end up being hyper, a bit hypercritical on it i mean yeah but yeah the important thing is we've tried something yeah oh look that's where the saunas were the saunas were oh, yeah. <laughs> Maria Petuska. yeah we've tried something i mean i'm enjoying it yeah i'm good i'm looking forward to going back but also it's nice to have a break i've found i really have to have an ear break in this kind yeah. of thing it's so the noise is so tight. Yeah, and it's also so relentless. But part of the point dun, dun, of it dun, dun, being yeah. relentless. <laughs> We're eating. I didn't see any food stands at the, at the festival, actually. There was no food stands at the festival. No, so we're eating, look at this, a salad, an actual salad. salad. <laughs>
stole it. So we decided, since we all worship old school death Finnish scene, we play a cover for you. It's actually a band from Helsinki, I think. Uh, you may know it. It's abhorrent. This is disintegrating flesh. What do you think, Sam? <laughs> I thought they were great. Uh, what do you think, Andrew? They, they went long on the heavy bits, but a good bit of build-up like that just makes the uh, release better. Do you like the, the post the post thing? I like the, the grindiness, I like the heaviness, I like the very, very heaviness, actually. I thought that was immensely... Who was it? We should say who it is. Oh, Blood Soak, Blood Soak Necrovoid, which is the best name of the festival. We're leaving now. Uh, we're leaving now. We saw maybe four. Well, skeleton remains were a spirited bunch of fellows, weren't they? I mean, they playing their trad country. And... <laughs> trad country. I thought they were great, but at the same time, I also thought they were incredibly predictable. And after a whole day of watching really much variation on the theme, I'm just tired. Uh, I think my yeah, my ears are fatigued, but. To be fair to me, I came to a festival for a type of music I don't particularly like. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think it has been... I've had a fucking brilliant time. Oh, it's fun. I would, I would come again, but at the same time... You came? I, I, yeah. Oh, so you did like it? It was the rumbling, the rumbling of the double bass. <laughs> so we are back from Deathfest Helsinki 2024, and this is the end of the episode. If you've liked it, great. If you haven't, then... Why are you still watching? It's been going on for a while. So what's your summary on it? Uh, it was great fun. It was... Uh, I shouldn't do that. I'm already missing enough teeth. Yeah. Um, I, it reminded me of like punk all days and the... but with much better musicians generally. <laughs> um, and much worse vocalists. And uh, it was great fun, but it's a bit one note. Um, and by the end of it, Skeletal Remains are like incredibly good, proficient, commie, uh, competent, competent. But there was no eccentricity in there. That sort of 
what they were doing. So it was after a whole day of death metal, it was just a bit exhausting. And it's like, this is great, but so what? It's a whole day of. Yeah. And I like that for a little while, but not all day. So would you go again? I would, but I would really want to. There'd be. I really want something to hook me into it more. I think this is the first one we've gone to, the first festival in uh, Helsinki we've gone to, where there hasn't been a band to really hook us into it. We went because it was interesting enough. And the other and the other two festivals had like So Tusker and Helsinki. Helsinki. Uh, they just didn't have the things that would sort of wind us into it. Also the just they fell on the wrong dates as well. Whereas this one fell on the right date. I enjoyed it. I'm glad we went. It's yeah. been an education. But I think we ought to go to like a free jazz festival next. <laughs> We're just going to like pick festivals where I don't know any of the music. Or, or just festivals where it just gets quite relentless. <laughs> it's nice having a bit of variety. So yeah. Yeah. Hell Sinky, there was Burst, who we both fell in love with. Yeah. There were bands who didn't particularly like, like the one that was an offshoot of Ghost who did like techno. Oh yeah, yeah. And then the Euro metal stuff with all the clean singing. <laughs> So, there we go. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and up yours!